Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today we are going to make the last card in our uh, male family card series. And today this is a grandfather card. I don't know if you can see that, but the ribbon I've used, it's all retired. I think it's all retired. Well, I know the red and white stripe one is. And then I put the granite grey one on. And it looks like the material from medals. So, I just thought that'd be nice for Grandad who was at war. And obviously having his pint of beer. So yes, we're going to make this. Right, to make this card I've used the stamp sets. Again, a pile of them. Family party. And I used the saying to a wonderful then I use grandfather so with them now I have put the stamps together you can't see that let me get a bit of card I don't know if you can see that but what I've done I've cut off the excess uh, silicone by the G and the R from, G from grand and the R from father so that they would go closer together if you do that, you just lose your rights to exchange the stamp with stamping up because you've destroyed it yourself. So that's what I've done. There are the stamps we're using from there. We're also using the hardwood stamp. Now retired. I get it and it retires it. Also using mixed drink drinks. Retired. Um, the pint of beer. Uh, itty bitty birthdays we're going to use the sayings you're not old just older and underneath it cheers to you and the word happy birthday comes from uh, big on birthdays also retired so yes I am I have used a lot of retired stamps but that's what I got them for to use them so I am the ribbon this I just found in a bag of stamping up ribbon I've got I think I got a gift off Katie Freeman my upliner and she wrapped this ribbon around it and I kept it to use same with this granite grey it's the only time I have stamping up ribbon is when Katie gives me it um, so I've put that on it I've also I've added the tape already to tape it on the cardstock we're using is a retired colour, um, Zappa Denim. I think this is actually my last sheet of it. I don't think I've had any left. So I've using this. So you need a card base or half a half sheet of eight and a quarter, eight and a quarter. Four and one eighth by a full sheet folded in half and burnished, which I've already done. A piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. And I've got a piece of um, dapper denim five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I've used the number seven oval to cut out the aperture for that. I've also got a piece of dapper denim at three inches by four inches and they use the number five oval out of to cut out of there and that will go underneath it like that and I've also got a piece of white cardstock at three by four which I will stamp the beer on and I have another one at three inches by an inch and a half, inch and a quarter for the sentiment. So first of all, we are going to stamp, no, I don't need that, I need this one, the hardwood. So I need that, I need some hardwood, a piece of paper and dapper denim ink 
So I'm just ink up the stamp. Place this on there and get ink all over my fingers and rub that over. And there we have our hardwood stamp. And then we clean this off. with that ink. Right, I'm finished with that. Uh, I'm going to stamp our sentiments next. So, with our black ink and to a wonderful I think that's what, yeah. We're going to put that in the middle to the top. Then we're going to get grandfather and stamp that in just there. Sorry about that, it's the window cleaner come to do the outside of my windows. Right, and with the happy birthday, we will stamp that underneath and there we are and my grandfather's not completely straight in fact it's wonky let's do it again so it's all wonderful Grandfather. That's better. And then happy birthday at the bottom. Yeah, that's better. Right, I'll pop that to the side, and that is, oh no, got the inside to do, and we've got, you're not old, uh, yeah, you're not old, You're just older. And then under that, we're going to have cheers to you for his beer. Right. Next one we got a stamp. We should have stamped this first, actually. But never mind. Is the beer glass. Now I've put these together so I know that I'll get it in the middle. Just stamp that down. Perfect. Right. Just got a colour, colour it in, dry it off, yeah, and then colour it in. See if I can get the 
nib off my yellow ink uh, blend daffodil delight yeah and then we just colour this in because this granddad likes lager lager's yellow I'm not to go over the black because it's not completely dry. So lager, and now for the froth. What I did with the froth, I got the smoky slate, thin end, and I just went round the foamy bits with a bit of smoky slate. Just to make it stand out a little bit. And then with the glass itself, I got um, soft sea foam and just touched it with the pen, with the brush end. Didn't press hard because I don't want lots of colour. And there we have it. That is our glass of beer. So now all we've got to do is put this car together. So first of all we're going to stick our ribbon on. Before I forget. So we need to take the backing off. She says. this right in the middle like that and then we've got to take the backing off the ribbon And we're going to stick this on the bottom of the card like that and fold it over. Now we need hmm, dimensionals and quite a few of them. I'm 
going to raise the whole page up so we need to put dimensionals on all four sides I think Yeah, that won't collapse. Right, what I'm going to do is take off the backings of at the top. And I'm going to place... Oh no, I've got to place this on first. beer in the middle and then I should trim it down. So let's glue this. And place that in the centre of our oval. And then with our scissors we shall Trim this down a bit. Go up a bit more there. And then that we will place This is a tricky bit, trying to get it even. That's fine. Right, I need to stick a bit of dimensional under there. It's under this corner. Hmm. Yeah, that's it now. Right. And with our Cut base, we will pop this on, hopefully. We need some dimensional there. Nicely. And that bit's sunk in. Nice. All this junk outside of me. Right. And we put dimensionals on this. So, how have I got enough here? Which one's my nice side? That one. as well use it up oh, 
waste not want not as they say. I only use stamping up dimensionals when I'm making cards for on camera. I don't use them normally. Right, that's nice. Now we put the inside card in. There we have it. Our wonderful last male family um, birthday card. Come back tomorrow, you'll see how I made a box to put all these in. Well, I'm making two boxes. There'll be six in each box, along with six envelopes. So, all I can say is, um, if you want to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the, and I didn't do any bubbles, let's rectify that. So I forget what I just said. Um, let's put some bubbles on. There we are. That's better. Start again. <laughs> right, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But for this week, I have run one every day. And tomorrow, I'll be making the box for the cards. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye.